Thousands of parents are expected to take to the streets across the UK, calling for government reforms to childcare and parental leave. Joining me now is Sky's Sadia Chowdhury. She's in Trafalgar Square for us this morning. Uh, morning, Sadia. It's looking busy there behind you. What specifically are people calling for? Well, they want government reform uh, of this sector, and this is a nationwide protest. We're at the protest here in London, and if you speak to the mums and dads here, you'll get some grim statistics from them about the state of the sector right now. They say 54,000 women have to leave their careers every year because of childcare issues. I'm just going to go over now and speak to Benazir Yani, who joins us today. Hello. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Just talk to me about what brings you here today. So we're here for three reasons today. Um, one is um, we want affordable, quality childcare. We would like um, ring fence posts for um, paternity or maternity leave. We want people who, um, we want properly paid paternity leave. And then lastly, we want um, flexible working as a default for everyone. And oh, Benazir, you were talking to me uh, earlier about uh, the impact it's had on your career. Just talk to me about that. Well, it's quite stressful. You can't do anything last minute. Um, I don't think people appreciate um, just how much it takes to get someone, um, you know, with a child to work, especially when you're having to travel in. It takes a lot of preparation beforehand. And then when you're invited to last minute meetings outside of work, you know, 6.30, you just can't attend them. And um, you just end up feeling really bad. You feel like you look bad against your counterparts who all can attend. Um, yeah. Does it put you off having more children? It does. It makes you feel like um, that maybe, maybe one you can handle, but two, it would just be it would just be too much in terms of childcare as well. Um, it, it makes you feel like you can't really have a career um, because it's just not cost does not cost. Yeah, it doesn't work out. Um, so so yeah, you feel like maybe if I didn't have the support that I had in terms of um, you know grandparents around, um, I don't know how I would work just generally speaking. So I don't know how people without grandparents um, and parents kind of support them, go back into the workplace. And what are your specific demands? What do you want to see change? I would like to not, not be made to feel bad um, for wanting to work. I want to and the only way that that can happen is if flexible working is something that is offered to everyone. Um, and I think as well, you know, the childcare is a, is a really, um, it's a massive factor in deciding whether or not you can have a career as a, as a woman, as a mother. Um, and if, you know, we're 50% of the workforce and we really should be like, you know, made, it should be made a priority by now. This is Anne Forrest who joins me now. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Tell us about why you're here today. Well, it's just uh, ever since having the kids, it's just uh, it's it's so surprisingly expensive to um, put them into. Well, I have to. We both have to work. Um, my partner's actually working today because we can't. We, we're struggling to make ends meet. Um, the cost of nursery is, is we've got two kids of three and five and uh, even even just holiday clubs, you know, I don't get as much, all that much time off. Um, so I'm just sort of having to pay other people to look after my children um, and, they, and they're doing a great job, but it's costing, you know, more than our mortgage um, every month. You know, it's... It's just a real struggle, and it just feels a bit unfair. <laughs> I'm just going to explain to our viewers why you're dressed like this, because yes. this is a Halloween-themed yes, March yes. from Mummies <laughs> uh, protest. So I'm very literally a mummy. <laughs> uh, and just talk to us about how being a mum has impacted your career. Um, well, I, it's just a lot of juggling. Like I'm, it's, I'm just constantly feeling like I'm not giving my children enough, not giving my work enough and it's quite, it's, it's just it's just you're always in the middle, you know, you're always just trying to make it work and, we, we, uh, and we're doing alright but we're you know, it's, it, it, it's just tough. Um, what are your demands? What, would, what, would, what needs to change to help you out? I think, I think childcare should be subsidised. Um, I think um, but it's not like people in nurse, that work in nurseries are getting paid very well but um, so there must be a way of just helping helping parents uh, be able to to work if they want to, or maybe give them the choice. You know, we didn't. I didn't have a choice as to whether to go back to work or not. I had to because we had to. We have to pay. We had. We needed two incomes to be able to um, pay our mortgage and um, look after the children. So, um, yeah. And I think flexible working is really important for working parents, mums, and dads. Um, 
luckily my, my work are quite good at, at being quite flexible, but I know a lot of places aren't. And actually, because since the pandemic, they've really... Um, okay. It's okay. We, we, all the technology is in place now. We're all so used to being able to work from home, and it's, it's made a massive difference. Um, and I just want that to keep going. You know, it, I think it's really important that they, they they allow us to choose, you know, whether to work from home or in the office, and just 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 help us with the juggle a little bit. You know, I don't think it's that much to ask. <laughs> Excellent, and Forrest, thank you so much for speaking to all us. But right, well, this is a story that we're hearing time and time again from people here, and as you can see, it is a Halloween-themed protest. Many people in costumes for this, and they want the government to step in to reform the sector because they say it is in a complete mess. All right, uh, Sadia, thank you very much indeed.